He just spotted me running to his mother. He says, come here, mother. There's a monkey up a stick. <laughs> hey, well, I walked through Europe, air up, fire up, shut up, wallop, jollop. <laughs> my feet are red hot. <laughs> but my gum, I've just had a bit of a narrow squeak. I was going across a field with a bull in it. It wasn't Barney's bull there. <laughs> In fact, there was a hell of a long way off being burned. Ooh, it was a fierce one. It had a couple of prongs on it as long as this stick. Only they were a damn sight sharper than this hell, you? Ah, it comes tupping away at me. I thought it was apologising the way it was bowed and scraping away. Ah, I shoot it away with my TV. Oh, it's a red one. Uh, it made it a damn sight worse. <laughs> My gum, but did I pick him up? <laughs> I fairly sizzled. <laughs> I can't stop to a rabbit. <laughs> I'd have passed it only it got between my legs. I said to it, I said, hey, come on, hurry up or else get out of it all. <laughs> I said, let somebody run this gun. <laughs> Hikers, hikers, I've picked them off bushes. Ah, uh, yes, uh, I'm the daddy of all hikers. I'll be 82 in a few more days. 82, and I'm as full of vim as a butcher's dog. Uh, I'm as lively as a cricket. It is now to me. Why, I'll take anybody on that be age and weight, dead or alive. Uh, and I'll run them, walk them, jump them, fight them. Uh, <laughs> and I'll play them dominoes, if you like. And the, mind you, I attribute me excellent health to moderation, exercise, plenty of fresh air. I go to bed early and I go to sleep. <laughs> There's no monkey business about me. Uh, 82, and just look at these for a pair of legs. Uh, I tossed a sparrow for these and lost. Uh, <laughs> hey, um, there's another her coming in. <laughs> hey, well, I'll go to Buckhamry. <laughs> there's a her here we are not on. See, uh, it's surprising where they keep coming from. 82, and look at this for a figure. See, uh, straight to the bulrush. <laughs> I've just passed a couple of tarts on the road yonder. <laughs> there were a couple of hot ones. <laughs> uh, one went like this here to me. Uh, I took no notice. Much. <laughs> <laughs> I said to her, I said, not today, love. I'd rather have a Kensington. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were having a bit of fun, these young ones. I took one of them for a bit of a walk. We went for five miles and neither of us spoke a word. I finished, I said to her, a penny for the thoughts. Ooh, she gave me such a clout across look. I said, what to do with you? I only said a penny for your thoughts. He, she said, I thought you said a penny for me shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll have a shop. Uh, all slops. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> 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 gum, you, you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's damn sharp stuff, is the tail? It's all legs and arms. There's no body, <laughs> body in it, you know. I said to the landlord of the pub when I got this, I said, it's a bit thin, mister. I said you'd be thin if you come up saying pipes as they say. <laughs> uh, he said, I'll bet you've never tasted out better. I said, no, but I've paddled about in it. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't like these new boots of mine. I'm breaking them in for my father. <laughs> They're giving my corns a bit of jib to me. I was troubled with a corn, as I thought once. I went to one of these chirapottle fellas. 
Dr. Scallops. Uh, <laughs> He had a look, he said, uh, by the come out life, he said, you've got some mucky feet. I said, why, are they muckier than thine? He said, they are that. I said, well, don't forget, I'm a lot older than the either do. <laughs> I said, how about this corn? He said, there's no corn there. It was a collar stud in my sock. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks I'd been playing with that, my uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this hair. I'll sup. I'll sup it if it keeps me up all night. <laughs> There's about thirty-six burps in my ease. That, that just reminds me. I once sent a bottle of beer away like this to be analysed. They must have got mixed up at the other end. They sent me a postcard saying, "Dear sir, your horse is in perfect condition." <laughs> I can rattle my dogs about a bit yet, you know. But it's only my bit of fun. Don't take any notice of me. I'm just an old fool, that's all. And if you'll take my advice now, all you young'uns, I'm old enough to be most of you's grandfather. Get plenty of exercise, plenty of pressure, and hell, look at me, 82, I can jump a five-bar gate. If it was laid on floor, my... <laughs> It's only till the day I went to a funeral. I was coming away from graveside. A chap looked at me and says, How old are you? I said, I'm 82. I he said, I don't think it's much use thee going home at all. <laughs>